Hello and welcome. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Premiere Elements 13 looking at the new features. Far and away, the most high profile of the new features is the video story feature. A feature you'll find under the Create button here, sharing space with Instant Movie. In fact, it's very similar to Instant Movie, though a little more hands-on. Now, Video Story will walk you through the process by simply providing you a template that you drop your clips into. So we'll click on Create a New Story. And here you can see, we can see a preview of some of the options here, Adventure, Wedding, Birthday. I'm going to exit this little preview screen here. And now we can select a category. So let's select General. We have the option of using media from the timeline, but we're going to grab our media from out on my computer. So click Get Started. And you can choose your media directly from your camcorder or camera or in the Elements Organizer, or you can just browse directly to your hard drive. So I'll select this, files and folders, and we'll grab a number of clips here. These are video clips from my AVCHD camcorder, and we're just bringing them into the project as our story assets at this time. Now, once they're added, the real fun begins. We'll click the Next button here. And on the next button, we have the various chapters. Heading chapter, our title chapter. Why don't we just go ahead and take this footage shot from outside an airplane. We'll drop that in here for the, the title segment. Now, title segments, you can only put one clip into. But these other drop areas here, you can add as many clips as you like to them. So we'll just go and we'll grab several of these here from our assets. Grab them all at once and just drag them over here. You can see you can add as many as you'd like into our who's who area. We'll grab a few more. And you can include, you don't have to use every single chapter here, but they give you enough chapters that it actually will build out a story if you'd like, including story credits at the end. But let's keep it as is here. We'll, we'll throw one in here for our story credits at the very end. And then we click the next button. The program is going to analyze the clips briefly. Now what we see is the detail view. And in the detail view, we're only going to look at one of these little chapters at a time. So when I go to the story title, you see I have this title area and I have the clip I dropped in there. But in party preparations where I dropped a whole bunch of clips, I have several clips in there. Now, even though there's a title at the beginning of each of these, we can customize the title. Let's say this isn't really a party preparations. Let's say this is the family reunion. That's going to update the title. See if I play the title here. So kind of cool. Uh, we can customize this. So even though it's a wedding based video or a party based video, we can change it into whatever we want. We can customize it and in fact even change the tone of it here. So the party begins at the beginning here. We'll call this flying in and that will change the title for it too. Now these individual clips, we can also custom edit them. So for instance, I don't have to see the entirety of every one of these clips. We'll go back here to this first one. I know this is a longer clip. So if I click this little star here that appears when I hover my mouse over the clip, it's going to open up the favorite moments tool. And then I demonstrated the favorite moments tool in another tutorial. But you can see essentially we go into the clip here and we can decide how much of it we actually want to use. So I'll, we'll choose a segment here. We'll move the uh, playhead out a little farther. Maybe I'll choose a small segment here and we'll choose another small segment over here. And then we'll click done. And now what we have is an abbreviated clip here that is made up only of the favorite moments. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the program will automatically generate music for you based on whatever mood you choose, either the recommended mood or sentimental, classical, vibrant. So you can customize this any way you want. In fact, if you click on the cog here near chapter mood, you can actually open up and apply your own custom music. You can apply filters to it to change the color or get rid of all filters. Uh, you can mute the sound from your source video or you can just keep it there. And we'll apply this to our movie. That's pretty much it. And our movie is done. I'll click Preview Story here down in the lower part of the panel and we can see what the finished product looks like.
So you can see this is very cool and it's a little more hands-on like I say than an instant movie because you're actually deciding what goes in there and where and you just kind of customize the elements of it. If you'd like to know more about the program be sure to check out our many tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about version 13 all the little hidden gems in there uh, we'll show you how to do it all in the moviepix.com guide to premiere elements the moviepix.com guide to premiere elements and photoshop elements together available at amazon.com and of course right here at the movie pick store i'm steve grisetti thanks for joining me we'll see you again real soon